Today I'm going to show you how the Mugget High Pressure Pro works. It's a 38 by 38 clamshell press. So firstly we're going to switch the press on. You're going to press the OK button until you see P1. So click it again. So P1 is your temperature. So use the up and down arrows to set your temperature. You're going to press OK again and you will see P2, that's your seconds. So you're going to use the up and down arrows to set your seconds. Okay, you're going to press OK again and you will see the temperature rising. First we're going to set the pressure clockwise or anti-clockwise. So clockwise is more pressure. Anti-clockwise is less pressure. Make sure you cover your rubber with a Teflon sheet to protect it from any access ink. And we're going to do a puzzle first. So 190 degrees, 90 seconds. Place the puzzle in the middle of the press. And we're going to cut out our, our artwork. So I'm going to use one picture over the whole puzzle. Always make sure your print is a little bit bigger in your puzzle. Firstly, I'm going to use a normal piece of copy paper to protect my puzzle when I set the pressure. So it needs to be nice and firm pressure. A little bit more. Okay. So remove the copy paper. And now we're going to place it back in and then we're gonna secure the print with heat tape to our puzzle okay so take the print line it exactly up make sure no white areas of the puzzle are sticking out so it needs to cover the whole puzzle and then I'm going to take heat tape, put it over the print, and then stick it to the Teflon sheet. Press for 190 degrees, 90 seconds. The time is up. We're going to open the press. Remove the print. Make sure you use a glove. Or, or a cloth because it's very hot and there's your puzzle you will see all the access ink on the teflon sheet I'm just gonna wipe that off that's why we protect our rubber next we're gonna do a coaster we're going to set our pressure, just cover it with a normal piece of copy paper again. So we're going to give it more pressure. Okay, nice and firm pressure. And I'm going to take my print. And we're going to secure it with heat tape to the print. So white side facing the print and secure it with heat tape. Okay, turn it around so that the print is on top. Press it for 190 degrees, 90 seconds. your print. Now we're going to do a tile. So we're going to use a Nomex pad for this. So we're going to place the Nomex pad at the bottom, then place the tile on top and then set the pressure. It's a nice and firm pressure but not too tight so that it breaks the tile. Okay. So remove the tile. Place the print first, face up, on the Teflon sheet. 
Then the tile, white side, facing the print. Okay, 190 degrees and 6 minutes to press this tile. minutes is done. We're going to remove the towel from the print. There's your printed towel. I'm going to do a white cotton shirt. So for white cotton you're going to use cotton inkjet paper and in this case we're going to use Jetrons S. We're going to set our press to 190 degrees 20 seconds. So nice and firm pressure. Okay, so you're going to cut around your image. So you just need to cut as close as possible to the image, but you can just do it roughly. Because it's only glue that's going to transfer to your shirt. You don't want to leave a square, so just cut as close as possible to your print. Just roughly. Okay, let the print face your t-shirt. And then press it for 20 seconds. I'm not going to use heat tape for that. And you have to remove it immediately when you open the press. So while it's still hot, work very quickly. Okay, now I'm going to finish it off with silicone paper just to make the, the print sink into the shirt more. So it's only going to be for 3 seconds. Now I'm going to do a dark cotton shirt. So for this, you're going to use multi opaque. I'm going to pre press my shirt, make it cool down completely after you press it. Okay, this is multi opaque, so it's got two layers front and the back, and the front is a soft layer and the back is a plastic layer. So you will see a plastic and a soft layer and you print on the soft white layer. That's why we're going to cut it out with a scissor and then take the soft piece off and press that to the shirt. Remove all white areas around your image. If you leave white areas, it's going to transfer to your shirt. And you, you can use a vinyl cutter to remove all white areas if you don't want to use a scissor. It's very quicker to use a vinyl cutter. Cut very carefully. Okay, now we're going to remove the, the front from the back. So do it carefully so that you don't tear this soft white layer. So you can throw away the backing. We're going to put it the white side of this print facing the shirt so the picture will face up. And then we're going to cover it with a silicone paper. And you're going to press it for 160 degrees and 20 seconds. Here's your friend.